Hello and welcome back to Bipolar Writes by Bipolar Owl. I'm Bipolar and I write. And so I did receive a prompt for this writing. It was from my lovely wife-to-be, Cassie. And uh, that prompt was a kid gets super speed. So that's what I'm doing with this right now. So a lot of inspiration for this writing comes from my nephew. He's a really awesome kid, and he loves Spider-Man just as much as I do. And the thing about Spider-Man is Spider-Man always wins. But why does he win? Well, historically, he wins because he fights for the people he loves, and he also tries to do what's right. And... He sees it as his responsibility to try and help people no matter the odds. So I remember I actually made a character um, called the Dark Prowler. That was my original character. Um, Me and my brother loved superheroes, so sometimes we would imagine and describe superhero adventures to each other. My character was called Dark Prowler, and Micah's was Bloody Knuckles. Sometimes we would fight things that scared us from the nightmares we had. I remember Dark Prowler had claws like Marvel's Black Panther. He had a lot of gold in his costume. Gold gloves, I remember. Dark Prowler was human, no super strength or anything. He did have a stick with a hinge in it so that it could bend enough for the Prowler to kind of pull vault forward. And this is because the Dark Prowler was an inventor. We made all... We never made alter egos for Prowler and Blight Knuckles, because that would be silly. We were their alter egos. In fact, I remember one time for Halloween, my grandma actually made us um, capes, and mine had the... um, Mine was all black, and then it had the gold um, Dark Prowler on it. And it was such a cool Halloween because of that. So before I reveal what I actually wrote, I'm going to read you the first draft of what I wrote. Um, And then you can compare the two. So yesterday I developed superpowers. Super speed to be exact. I'm not sure what to do. I have a friend at school who reads comics, so I asked him what to do. He told me that Spider-Man says with great power must then come great responsibility. And that means that you have to do your best to help people with what you have. My friend was disappointed that I didn't get spider powers. So today, I ran to a third world country where they didn't have any clean water. And it took me all morning and about a million trips to and back from 13 water bottle factories. It felt, I felt really good about that, but eventually I had to go to school. When I got to school, there was someone picking on my friend, calling him mean names. I didn't know what to do. I could have super speeded the bully to France, but yesterday my friend told me, You can't ever use your powers to cause harm to anyone ever. You have to help people. And it might be hard sometimes, but you have to be a hero. So instead, I ran over as fast as I could to be by my friend's side. The bully tried to be mean, but I knew that I had a power that he didn't. My power was the power to overcome any obstacle. My power was helping people, and nothing he could do or say could diminish that. So I did what I did best. I was nice to him. Okay, and as you can see, this is the part where I had planned on reading what I wrote. So here it is. Yesterday I got super speed. I asked my friend what to do and he told me that with great power comes great responsibility. He also said that you have to do the best with what you have to help people. You can't cause harm to anyone on purpose and be a hero. This morning I ran to a third world country that needed clean water and got a million bottles of water to them. I felt really good about that, like a hero. Then I had to go to school. When I got there, a bully was picking on my friend, so I ran to his side and tried my best to be nice to the bully. 
but also to tell him that I thought he shouldn't be so mean. I could have super speeded the bully to London, but his family would have missed him. So instead, I thought about my other powers. My power is to overcome any obstacle, my power to calm myself down, and my power to help people. Nothing that bully could say could stop me from being a hero. All right, and that is it for this very special episode of Bipolar Owls, Bipolar Rights. And I hope you enjoyed this. Um... I kind of spent a lot of time doing rough drafts and planning about what to say and stuff like that. But I really hope you uh, enjoyed watching and have tried out some of my other videos. If you need any suggestions, I would say uh, number 10 is my is the best one that I've done. Um, or at least it's the most I've tried on one. Um, this is a little bit of a different format, but... Either way, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to give me a like or a comment, that would really boost my self-esteem. Anyway, thank you. Bye-bye.